Happy October! It's time for September favorites. I haven't done a favorites in quite a while. And mostly that's because Denise and I have been in hell. <laughs> This move is killing us! Um, just to give you a quick update on that, we will show you this apartment, but we aren't even setting it up. It's that small that we are just counting down the days so we can get out of here and rent a house. So that's what's happening. Having said that, in the month of September, I have used quite a few things over and over and over again, and I wanted to show them to you. Now, some people only show you new products and their favorites, and I'm not really into that. I just like to show you what I am honestly and truly using all the time every day. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I have a sad, sad one to start with. Three of the products I, that I'm going to show you I have in miniature. I got in the favorites, the Sephora favorites. And because I travel so much, I was going to say how much I love having these things in miniature because also you know, getting to the bottom of some of these things, like you're never going to get to the bottom. One such thing was this incredible Becca highlighter in the color Opal, which I have on right now. I've got it here and down here, a little bit on my top lip. Um, I got it in this summer. It's like one of the bronzing kits and I was thrilled. And because it's so tiny, it traveled with me perfectly. As I was bringing it out here to film, I dropped it and it completely shattered. This is all I have left is this tiny little remnant of it. So that makes me very sad because I really don't want to spend the 50 bucks on buying that in large, but that is one of my favorites. Basically the next three products, this and then that's two I'm going to show you. If you have seen me on vlogs, uh, Twitter, Instagram pictures, whatever, in the month of September, I've had this on my face. That's one of them. The other is my bronzer slash contour that I've been using. I have this in full size, but I've been running around with this tiny little sample size, which these samples will last you forever. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in medium deep. So it's just a really nice matte bronzer. There's no shimmer, no highlighting in there, so you can totally use it to contour. Smells like chocolate, which is a bonus. And I use this every day under my cheekbones. I paint in my dewlap with it. I put a little at the top of my forehead. Um, and like I said, I've been using it actually not just all September, but all summer. And there's not even like, I haven't even hit pan in it. And that's just the sample. And the final face product that I've been wearing consistently, like every day is another small size of it, but it's the NARS blush in deep throat. Um, Orgasm, of course, probably one of their most famous and well-loved blushes. I like Orgasm. It's a bit orange for me. Like, I, I don't wear a lot of oranges. Of course, today I do because I am because it's fall. I've got the whole red and orange thing happening and green if you count the nails. Uh, but usually that's not my normal color scheme. So what I like about this is it's got a bit more pink in it than Orgasm does. And I just think it highlights the cheeks beautifully. Um, I can go a little bit heavy handed with it and I still won't look, you know, like Mimi. Anyway, I just love, 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 love this. If I do hit pan on this, I will buy it in full size uh, because I just think it's such a gorgeous color. And it's one of those things that I've had sitting around for quite some time. And I was like, oh, I should try Deep Throat and loved it. Now, the next thing I am wearing on my nails. Um, thank you to Lindsay from Lindsay Does Nails. I'll link her video below where I saw this. She did a little haul from Harlow & Co, which is a Canadian distribution, a Canadian distribution company for nail products. Lindsay's all about the nails. Um, and she showed this polish. Now, I wanted to do an order because she goes on and on about this butter, this cuticle butter, which I got the butter, but I haven't tried it yet. But two of the polishes that she talked about were in stock when I made my order, so I got one of them. Now, you're not gonna be able to tell here because again, I don't have my close-up ability, but this green is, it's amazing. It's, there's like dual chrome, glitter within it so it's just it's like so three-dimensional on the nails I thought it was amazing for this time of the year but it's not the color that is making me put this in my favorites the formula of this nail polish is incredible like if you look at I painted these I, I want to say three days ago four days ago it still looks like a brand new manicure it painted on so beautiful in fact Lindsay described it as buttery I would agree it's it just 
it paints on in such even, beautiful, thin coats. This is just two coats. I achieved total opacity with two coats. Um, I just, it's been a long, long time since I have used a, pot, a nail polish um, whose formulation I love as much as this. And considering that a lot of the polishes I use are Butter London, $19 a bottle, Deborah Lippman, $23 a bottle, uh, you know, very expensive polishes. This, I think, ran me... I want to say ten dollars um, and it's an independent woman who owns the company which is also very very cool so anyway glam polish I got it through Harlow & Co um, love it I'm gonna pick up a few other colors from her of course it's fall and I have done some shopping at Bath & Body Works although I made three orders uh, I didn't make three orders I made an order which is coming in three boxes which I don't know why they have put it in three boxes but I've been panicking because we're at a new address the box I've been tracking it boxes I've been tracking they got all rerouted I don't think they have the apartment number on it anyway I can't wait all my Halloween stuff from Bath & Body Works is coming in that order in those three boxes but we dropped by the other day to get the one thing that was sold out online which was the hand soap uh, they have really great Halloween hand soap this year one is Vampire Blood uh, House of Horrors really really cute and while we were there we picked up this it's Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte in their Ultra Shea Body Cream. I love these body creams. Denise uses these on her hands all the time. We always have one on the coffee table. But this one, and I do try to get her seasonal ones, but this one, oh sweet lord. It is exactly Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. It smells like all those things. Every time she puts it on, I want to take a bite out of her. Um, it. The only thing I will say about this and the candle that smells like this it does make me crave like sweet treats like whenever she puts it on I'm like you should go to Starbucks you should go get us something at Starbucks but it's just really really a beautiful scent and these lotions have such a nice feel on the skin now if you follow me for a while you will know that I have been on the search for the perfect lip scrub um, I like the lip scrub from Lush. I find it dries out too quickly. I also find it very, very messy. And I also hate that at Christmas they put all that red dye in it and I don't want my face stained red. I found one by uh, Fresh that I really enjoyed, but I found it tasted really bad. Um, I have found the Holy Grail. And I don't know why I don't see anybody talk about this. It's by Tarte, which makes me feel good because Tarte is a vegan friendly, animal friendly, low chemical load cosmetic company. Uh, it comes in this little metal tin and it looks like this and it smells like toothpaste. So it's very, very minty. It's just, it's almost like the consistency of Vaseline, but with the grit in it so you can really rub it in on the lips it, no, it doesn't hurt like if you rub for an extra long time you won't overstrip your lips because of the the base that it's in it leaves the lips very emollient and the mint flavor means that if you do happen to get it on your tongue which happens quite often with scrubs it doesn't taste like poison it just tastes like toothpaste. So I've been really loving it. I used it today before I put this Marc Jacobs lipstick on, um, which as you know, with red lipstick, you, you know, you can't have any flakes on your lips. So I've been just really loving that. That will be my new favorite. I do have some other ones I'm gonna get through, but once I do, I will only ever buy that Tarte Lip Scrub. Again, I don't know why I haven't heard more people talk about it. I have an eyeshadow favorite. I haven't even hauled this for you yet. Um, I did, if you recall last year, I did not buy any of the Christmas kits because I found they were all really super duper repetitive. And I'm wondering if a lot of people did that because this year the companies, I feel, have stepped up. And um, we have some more unique Christmas collections. And I have bought a few. I've got two more I'm going to pick up. And I'm going to show them to you in a video. And this is one of them. It's the Vice 4 palette. I have all of the Vice palettes. Uh, this one came in a beautiful bag that sort of looked like this cover. I think the packaging is extra special cool this year. And I bought it because I collect Urban Decay. And I was like, you know, I'm going to have all the Vice uh, palette so that's why I'm getting it however it, it comes with a brush I'm just gonna take the brush out so it doesn't fall however before I can even show it to you it's all used up I've got it all used up the colors this year are extra special there's you don't have to reach for another 
palette. There's blending colors, some matte blending colors. Usually you don't have those in the Vice palette. You gotta pull out a couple of blending colors to blend with these bright colors. Um, there's some grays here. A couple nights ago I went out to see a band I really love, the Stanfields, and I used these three colors here. It was incredible. It was like a, like a a real matte concrete that I got to blend with and then I put these heavy grays with the glitter on the lid. It was lovely today. I'm wearing, look at this color. This, what is this called? This is called Flame. What a color for this time of the year. I've got that on the lid near the inner corner. I put this deep army green which is called Crowbar in the outer corner and I use this color Discreet to just blend in my crease and then I use that Becca highlighter uh, on the brow bone. I just think uh, Urban Decay this year really really they hit the nail on the head, they brought the perfect formulas together. It's a good combination of mattes and shimmers and then super glitters. Uh, really really good mix of colors. So when I look at this palette I know that that's going to bring me from fall right into the holiday season because there's enough you know kind of glittery highlighty stuff in there that it will likely bring me into the holidays. So loving loving Vice 4. I think it's the best Vice palette to date. Now the last two products I have to show you are the same product just two cents and I can't believe it took this long for somebody to come up with this idea. I would say it's what three years now that dry shampoo has taken over the world right? We've all heard all our lives I'm 46 years old be 47 in a month um, or two months we have been hearing all our lives, it's not good to wash your hair every day. For those of us who grew up with oily skin, and that oily skin usually travels up onto your head, um, the thought of not washing your hair every day was like, you gotta be kidding me. I have to wash my hair every day. Especially when I was younger, I had short hair, um, and I was very athletic, so I was sweating all the time. It's like, there's no possible way I'm not gonna wash my hair every day. Um, as you age, your skin dries out and with it your hair along goes along as well. So you really do have to follow that adage of you can't wash your hair every day. Somebody finally came up with the notion of dry shampoo and bada boom bada bang we don't have to have that stinky day old smell because for me the smell of hair when it's not freshly washed bothers me more than even the look of it. You know you can take a Mason Pearson brush and brush the oils through and your hair will look pretty decent but it still has that oh not clean hair smell. So most of the dry shampoos on the market have a heavy scent to them because the whole point is is that they're freshening, freshening up not just the way your hair looks but the way it smells. So I like that because I don't want my hair to smell dirty. However, most of the time my dry shampoo smell competes with the perfume that I'm wearing, whatever I happen to be wearing that day. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, brilliant women that they are, came out through their Elizabeth and James line with dry shampoos that match the perfume. Why hasn't anybody done this yet? It's the best idea. So on days when I'm wearing the Nirvana Black, I have the Nirvana Black dry shampoo so that my hair and my body will smell the same. On days when I'm wearing Nirvana White, I've got the Nirvana White dry shampoo for the hair. This just came available. I actually saw it on uh, a Canadian fashion magazine called Fashion um, and I went to Sephora the day that I saw it. It was there but you couldn't order it yet and then just at the end of last week it became available to order so I got both of them. So I'm sneaking it in as a September favorites. I haven't been wearing it all September but I'm so darn excited about the idea that somebody got smart and said hey you know what the ladies probably want their hair and their body to smell the same and not to compete. So just way to go Mary Kate and Ashley, Elizabeth James Nirvana, the first ones that I know of to bring out a dry shampoo that smells like the perfume. You remember me talking before about uh, hair scents and how I didn't like hair scents because when they come out with just the spritzer of the hair scent it's wet. So you styled your hair, then you put their, you know, I think Angel has one, a hair center. You put the hair scent on, it makes your hair frizzy because it made your hair wet. You put it on before you style, then you put your styling products, same problem, then you can't smell the, the actual smell. So this, a dry shampoo in the scent, just such a great idea. 
So that's it for my beauty favorites for September. I am going to bring you a video this month of non-beauty favorites because I have quite a few non-beauty things that I've been enjoying that I want to share with you. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Also, the meetup in Toronto slash giveaway is going to happen in the next two weeks. So make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss that. Give me a thumbs up. And if you're in the Toronto area, I hope to see you in a couple of weeks. Bye. It's